All right, looks like we're live here. Here, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes. We're gonna kind of get ready, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. It's gonna be a fun, uh, a really fun goose day. I think I'm really excited for tonight. Uh, we're gonna try and make it as distinct from last stream as possible because last stream was Epcot, and I don't like to do parks the same parks once in a row. So we'll try and make it distinct. It'll be fun here. Uh, repeating. There we go. How's everyone doing? EJ, how's your day going? Here, I'm gonna mount this on here. We're gonna kind of get going right away. And um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. It's gonna be a fun night tonight. I have a lot of fun plans. Um, we're, we're gonna leave this open too. So we're gonna have a lot of potential um, interesting things that may happen, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you could join us here tonight. It's gonna be fun. Welcome, Sean. How's your day going tonight? Liz and welcome. Happy Goose Day to you as well. How might your Goose Day be going? That's great. Welcome, Richard. Hopefully you're having a great Tuesday. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're just going to kind of have a nice, classic first half of our night here at Epcot. And then we're going to kind of do some different resort hopping. I don't know where we're going to go, so that's kind of the, the mystery of it all. Welcome LP Disney. Hope you're doing good tonight. Glad you could join us. Welcome Winifred. Hope you're doing well as well. Glad you could join us tonight. We're kind of gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's gonna be fun. We're just gonna kind of go and go and go and see what happens. So yeah, glad you could join us here. But yeah, if you guys are coming in, I know beforehand um, the chat was kind of going before the stream started. So yeah, if you guys were here, feel free to say hi again. I don't know who exactly is here. So um, yeah. Oh, welcome, Megan. Happy Goose Day. How are you doing tonight? We're gonna have to do some shopping here momentarily. Oh, Brad's we're giving welcome. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna try and get at least one snack here tonight. There's a lot of things. We, we, we kind of streamed Epcot the other day, but I feel like there's so many other things we can do. So, this will be fun. But yeah, as you guys are coming in, it'd be a huge help if you guys get that like button. Um, I will let you guys know. Let me get a quick update. As of now, we are three subscribers away from 2,800. So if you guys are watching, make sure you subscribe. If you already subscribed, if you guys could hit that like button, that would be a huge help. Um, it's just becoming so... It's just a shock to me. I'm, I'm like shooken with shock because um, we're, we're getting really close to 3,000. And that, that's just such a huge number to me. Um, but yeah, it'd be great to get there as soon as possible. Every like, every subscription, everything will really help us out a lot tonight. So make sure you guys like it. And um, yeah, if you have any friends, family, anyone you know who may be interested in the Goo Crew, uh, it'd be great if you guys could share with them as well. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go this far yet. Welcome, Diana. Yeah, it's nice. It was like raining all day, so it's gonna be kind of fun to walk around here, see what's going on. That should be fun. Oh, great. 
thank you so much. EJ has generously said that he'll be gifting five of the memberships when we get to 100 likes here tonight. So, yeah, that'd be great. I think that's been so much fun to see that go on. A we'll walk in here. Well, welcome, Magical Soundtracks. Happy Goose Day, as I like to say. Hope you're doing good tonight. Glad you could join us. Um, I actually have... There's no Halloween merchandise in the Disney World parks or resorts as of yet. Um, but I was I was able to grab a Halloween hat from Shop Disney. So, yeah, this is this is one of the original shorts that Walt Disney did. Um, and it was a very spooky short, the skeleton dance. So that's kind of fun. You have these two new. These are new as well. Um, this is part of your main attraction collection. So you have like, this is Peter Pan. So you have a bunch of stars. You have the boats there. That's fun. The plush is $34.99. You have a, um, this is a pin. $29.99, you have the pin. And then you have the lounge fly, which is kind of fun. Yeah, this, this whole collection, they've been having different attractions featured in this collection for a while. Um, lounge fly is $85, so that's fun. But yeah, welcome everyone. Hopefully everyone's having a great Tuesday. We're just gonna kind of hang out here a little bit. I, I kind of started us off as quick as we could because I feel like there's a lot to get done and we don't have a lot of time since the park closes at nine. So yeah, glad you guys could join us. Let me know if there's anything you guys want us here, here tonight. And um, oh, sorry. We'll just kind of go from there. Welcome, Ronald. Hope you're having a great sun or, um, Tuesday. Yeah. Hopefully you're having a great Tuesday tonight. There's really not too much merchandise here. I, I already looked around. It's pretty much the same thing. I, I feel like at this point, they're just waiting for Halloween merchandise to come in. And when it does, it's going to be here. That's well, fine. We'll try and do some more shopping a little bit later. I think we're gonna kind of go on, but yeah. Yeah, the crowd levels have been really weird here lately. I, I feel like some days you're just getting really, really busy crowds. Um, I know it's August, so a lot of people are going back to school, and a lot of crowds are calming down. But um, I, I think that's why it seems worse than it is, because everyone's expecting everything to calm down. It's not really. So <laughs> that's fun. Oh, welcome, Terry. Happy Goose Day. Glad to see somebody use the no pickle emoji. That's comforting to me. How's your day going? But yeah, this will be fun. We'll kind of walk around, enjoy the park. Um, I want to get on a couple rides starting off because I know last stream we didn't get on any Epcot rides, so. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. We'll kind of go around, just walk around the park, maybe try some food items, look at some more merchandise. And uh, from there, we can also, I've always said, it would be really fun to go in a minivan somewhere. So I don't know, that that could be, it'll depend how far we would go. But um, we're just gonna leave like the second half completely open, whether it's a Skyliner, whether it's a bus to some random resort, either way. Welcome, Ernie. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, hardly. So, Matt, Matt's been trying to do this video for like, he's always wanted to do it and it scares me. He wants to do this video where we like try just, just like classic Disney snacks, like turkey legs and um, Mickey bars 
I don't like any of those. <laughs> and um, he, he finally did it, and he made me try turkey leg. And um, I, I'm not gonna ruin the video for you guys, but it was it was kind of a shocking experience. Welcome, Leslie. Hope you're doing good. I'm, I'm doing pretty good tonight. Hope you are as well. Oh, hi, Lori. Glad you could join us as well. It's a nice night here tonight. It's kind of cool. It's been kind of rainy all day and it's kind of just clearing up. So, that should be fun. Yeah, Matt is working tonight, unfortunately. Um, I don't know, we, we, we might we might end up in Magic Kingdom, you never know. So, maybe we'll go look for him. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, welcome. Welcome to Epcot. Uh, yeah, glad you guys could join us here tonight. We're going to be going on Spaceship Earth as a kind of beginning of our stream here. So, um, yeah. yeah. I would like to, Bizen. Maybe we can get all three. That would be fun. Welcome, Jonathan. Hope you're doing good tonight. Welcome to Epcot. We're, we're going to start off with Spaceship Earth. Hi, one. Could I get the back row? Right. Thank you so much. Hi, guys. How many? Enjoy the ride, everyone. I'll see you guys afterwards. During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back and may stop momentarily. For your safety, remain seated at all times. During your slow moving journey, your time machine will slowly rotate back and stop Welcome aboard. Thank you. 
America, now connected from the Atlantic to the Pacific. To send the man to the moon, we have to invent a new language. So the not like that, but like it's not. Seated, time travelers. Attention, travelers. Please remain seated. Your time is. For the first time in history, all of us can have a say about the kind of world we want to live in. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. Take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, 
your future. Here in your future, the city may be a place to work. Your sports will pay for your home. Your media-rich I love Spaceship Earth. I'm glad we got to do it here tonight. But yeah, that was great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, I think some people did come in here, so we're going to kind of welcome you guys. Well, I need to go back. Oh, Shauna, welcome. Hope you're doing good tonight. Katarina, welcome. Welcome to Epcot. How are you doing? Glad we can join... Glad we can bring Epcot to you. This is exciting. Oh, welcome, Juju. Glad you could join us as well. It, it's fun. We're going to kind of just explore Epcot a little bit, not really have anything crazy planned, which should be pretty fun. Ariel, welcome. Welcome to you as well. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. It'll be fun. I'm excited to come along tonight. I'm excited to bring you guys along. Welcome to Josh Shanks. Welcome to you as well. How's your Tuesday going? It's it's really it's busier here, but it's it's nice. It's not like overly crowded, so that's good. Welcome to 
I think I already welcomed Antonio. Welcome again, though. <laughs> Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Oh, Betsy, welcome. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see you a little bit later. Sorry you can't stay right now, but yeah, that'd be great. Oh, welcome, Diane. Hope you're doing good tonight. Welcome to Epcot. It's a, it's a very busy day here today, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna walk around here, make it to some resorts. Oh, welcome Taco Bell. Thank you so much. Glad you can come in here tonight. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Oh, Mission Space. <laughs> Should we? I, I was thinking of trying something extreme here tonight. Gigi, welcome. Glad you could join us as well. Yeah, it, it's been weird. The weather has been crazy all today, but um, it looks like it's just windy. It's kind of very, it's, it's nice. It's, um, what's the word? Comfortable. It's very comfortable outside. No. You know, honestly, I think if we're, if we're talking extreme here, I, I think a bag of barbecue chips is more extreme than Mission Space. <laughs> oh, you ran, ran into Matt. Oh, when was it? That's exciting. It's fun because Matt, Matt seems like he's hard to find on the streams, but we, we have a lot of people that find him when he's working, which is kind of fun. Maybe we'll have to do a challenge here tonight. Maybe if we get to um, 300 likes, I'll, I'll go ride Mission Space and Orange and eat some um, barbecue chips. Welcome Sonic Manager in training. Glad you could join us here tonight. There's the Moana attraction. It's nice right now, there's a good breeze. Um, the storms have kind of ended, it's a little gloomy, but it's nice. Oh, that's great. That's fun. It's always fun when everyone finds him because when, whenever I'm there, I don't know, maybe he hides from me, I don't know, but um, that was fun. Welcome, James. How's your Tuesday? Happy Goose Day, as I like to say. Glad you could join us here tonight. It's, it's kind of it's kind of a mystery. We don't know what's going to happen here. So, <laughs> yeah, the emoji was really fun. I'm glad you guys like that one. Um, that's 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 going to be on all the new Halloween merchandise. So. It has not been released yet, but Disney has shared pictures in the past of what their Halloween merchandise this year is gonna look like. And also, it, a couple of them are on Shop Disney already, so that's fun. But yeah, if you guys are coming in, welcome to the stream. Welcome to Epcot. Um, it's a nice day right here. The crowds are kind of, they're not terrible. And um, it's pretty nice. I'm glad we can bring you guys along here tonight. Um, but if you guys are watching, make sure you guys do hit that like button. Every single like will be a huge help tonight. And um, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe as well. I believe we're only two subscribers away from um, 2,800, which is crazy. But um, yeah, it'd be great to get there, and um, yeah, it'd be amazing if we get to two, or if we could get to three thousand as soon as possible because um, that's just so overwhelming. Should we do land? 
I, I feel like we have to get some rides in here tonight because last time we were at Epcot, we weren't able to get on many rides here. So maybe we'll do land, maybe we'll do figment. I don't know. But we are currently, let's see, 16 likes away from 100. So it'd be great to get there as soon as possible. It's a weekday, so my official goal would be 150 tonight. But um, yeah, if we get a little extra gold here tonight, there might be a surprise. Maybe if we get to 200, I'll do some something happen here. So that's fun. Welcome, Josiah. Glad you could join us. Hopefully you're having a great goose day. Redelic. Is that the, that like um the Norway Pavilion has a lot of really fun things there. They have some sort of non-alcoholic hot beverage, which is for the winter or something, which I thought would be fun to try. Okay, if we get to 300, I'm not gonna sing, but um I'll I'll do something. I don't know what. Oh yeah, so Bizen actually surprised me. She actually sent me one of the new Lego Haunted Mansion sets, um, which, which is really fun. Um, and yeah, I was able to build it. It was a lot of fun to do and it's great. Thanks again, Bizen, that was amazing. I guess we'll go land. We'll do land first. Maybe we'll just do figment. Um, but I, I think it'd be fun to kind of save a little surprise for the end. Um, I'm leaving kind of the end of our evening open, whether we go on a minivan or go on the Skyliner. We'll see. It's just going to be ha having a fun goose day night tonight. So, yeah. No, oh, welcome, Mickey Stein. Glad you could join us here tonight. It's 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 a nice night here at Epcot. Oh, welcome, retire. Welcome to Epcot. Hope you're doing good tonight. <laughs> there we go, Ernie. Go to you news early. <laughs> I'm tempted to say mission space. Okay. Here's the challenge I'm thinking, the challenge that's cooking for me. What if if we got to three thousand? Mm. I don't want to go in mission space. I, I would do it. I, I'm not like opposed to it. And I'm not like, I'm not like in the position where I'd say no completely, but it would have to take a lot for that to happen. Um, okay, if by the end of the week we got to 3000, that, that's a big goal. Um, but um, I, I'd do that. That'd be fun. We could have like a 3000 special. I don't even know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm gonna regret that. Welcome Steve Rogers and Peggy Carter. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Welcome to Epcot. It's a, it's a nice night here today. Glad you could join us here tonight. Oh, 
Welcome, Electric Umbrella. Welcome back to Epcot. Um, we actually did a poll. Uh, we have a Facebook page where we can have some Gooker members in there. And uh, we did a poll on there this morning, or this afternoon, asking what stream everyone would like to see. And to my surprise, like, Epcot was winning. So we're back here at Epcot. Um, I think it ended up being either a tie or very close to a tie between Epcot and Resorts. So we're going to kind of do a little bit of both here tonight. Hope you're doing good, though. That's true, Lori. I don't know if it's too late to take it back. I don't know, Diana. The challenge I already said is already, it's already a lot. <laughs> that would be good business. I'd agree to that. Welcome, Rebecca. Glad you could join us here tonight. We're here at Epcot. Hope you're doing good tonight. We're gonna go on living with the land here, one of my favorites. And we'll kind of just go from there. Hi, one, can I get the back row? Right. Great, thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, I love bugs. Welcome to Epcot. Hope you're doing good tonight. Hey, thank you. Oh, the behind the scenes tour was great. I, I wish it was back. If it ever comes back, I know in the past, I think they let you film it. It'd be fun to stream it. I don't know if they thought that, but that would be fantastic. But yeah, a little update here. We are only one subscriber away from 2,800 subscribers here tonight, which is really crazy. But, um... Yeah, if you guys are watching, make sure you hit, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and um, yeah, that'd be great. Enjoy the ride, everyone. We're using video lights until we reach the greenhouse. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy living with the land. Por su seguridad, permanezca sentado con sus manos y brazos, pies y piernas dentro del barco y cuida los pecanitos. A manera de recordatorio, no tomar foto con flash y luz de video antes de llegar a mi andero.
Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, Rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. yet still respect the needs of the land. Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times.
Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. When we mention farming, you probably don't think of fish, but fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests and still protect natural resources. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year.
The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then, will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratories. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Seeds walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratories. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. Please gather all of your personal belongings, lower your head, and watch a set of you exit. There we go. That was fun. Hopefully everyone enjoyed that. A lot of things did happen during that ride. Um, but yeah, thank you so much here. We'll kind of talk more once we get upstairs um, or while we're going up the escalator here. But um, yeah, EJ. EJ volunteered very generously that once we do get to 100 likes, he was going to gift five memberships in the chat, um, which basically, if you don't know what that means, if you're familiar with Patreon or any type of, like, membership program, um, basically, we have, like, a membership program. I believe it's $2.99 a month, um, and you get exclusive videos. You get little emojis in the chat, and, um, yeah, we have a lot of fun with that, but YouTube recently did this thing where you can gift memberships randomly to different Goo Crew members. I believe it can be anyone, I think, as long as you 
I, I've seen it in the chat where it says like allow gifts, and I think if you allow that, uh, you do have a chance of winning a membership here. Um, but yeah, EJ was kind enough to actually gift five members here for 100 likes. Thank you so much, EJ. That's, that's great. Um, I, I just think that's so fun. And I, and I always say it's it's so much fun to see, like, interaction in the chat like that, like, giving gifts to each other. I think that's just so much fun to see the Goo Crew in action here. Um, but, yeah, thank you so much, EJ. Um, and congratulations to all the five Goo Crew members who are now Club Goo members. And, um, yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Well, let me see. I think some people came in here as well. Oh, welcome, Robin. Hope you're doing good tonight. Welcome to Epcot. Glad you could join us. So I'm just trying to make sure I got everyone here. Oh, and Janet, welcome, Janet. How's your day going? Good. Glad you could join us during your break here. It's a nice night here at Epcot. Glad you could join us. Let me make sure I caught up with everyone. If I missed anyone, please let me know. Sometimes the chat goes by quickly. Oh, Ralph, welcome, Ralph. Glad you could join us here as well. It's a nice night. I'm glad we can bring you guys along on a exciting festive goose day and um yeah oh and juju bean welcome juju bean how's your tuesday going and juju bean was actually kind enough to actually give a super chat here as well so i kind of go to this little trash can give it official thank you um but yeah juju bean sent 4.99 thank you so much here i'm gonna put it down thank you officially But yeah, um, thank you so much. As I always say, it's never required. We'll still bring the goo. We'll still do the streams. We'll still celebrate Goose Day with the goo crew here. But um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to do this. And sometimes um, things can get a little expensive. And that just helps us do so much more. So yeah, thank you so much, Juju Bean. Let me know if there's anything you want to see here tonight. And um, yeah, thank you so much for your generosity. It's been a fun night tonight. And um, yeah, we're glad you could join us. That's great. Oh, and Dad, welcome, Dad. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, um, and Dad and Cynthia both won our candles the other day, and I, they're finally shipped out. So, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll kind of send some tracking over there. I think I shipped them the other day, so I should be there any, any moment now. So, yeah, that's good. And also, if anyone is interested in becoming a member, um, Mama Goo has actually generously volunteered. Once we get to 150, that she'll donate five more memberships. And I think Winifred also said, um, if we get to 200, we'll have five more. So if you guys want to be a member, uh, make sure you guys do stay tuned. Make sure uh, if you see on your chat where it says allow gifts, make sure you click that. And um, yeah, that should be great. Welcome, Izzy. How's your day going tonight? Oh, and Graceland, welcome. It's nice. It was kind of rainy all day, and it's very cool right now. Oh, and Jeff's here. Welcome, Jeff. How's your two day going? Oh. You should have electric umbrella. That, that would have been fun. Yeah. It's, it's always fun when people see him. I, we always try and find him on the streams, and he always hides. So, that's fun. Oh, welcome, Robert and Robbie. Hopefully, you guys are doing good. Welcome to a very slightly busy Epcot. It, it's, Epcot's one of those parks where crowds can be dispersed in different ways. So you'll just get like a bunch of crowds all at once and then five minutes later it'll just be nothing, so. Oh, Janet, Janet has been a member for officially for seven months and um, she cheered it to Goose Day. 
Thank you so much, Janet. We have a lot of fun with the membership. We have some exclusive videos. We have the streams um, that we do every so often. We're gonna try and do more streams since we have a lot more people now. But um, yeah, thank you so much. Glad we can bring the goo to you in that way. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, this hat. This is the only Halloween merchandise that Disney, I was able to get this hat um, because here I'll show it for those who are kind of lost. Um, this was on Shop Disney and I, I kind of wanted to get some merchandise before Disney got it here in the parks. So this is from one of Walt Disney's shorts, the uh, um, Skeleton Dance, which is kind of fun. It's kind of a Halloween hat there. That's fun. Yeah, I am Diana. I'm, I'm always in the parks pretty much. Um, yeah. A lot of people find me and, um, and I'm just walking around normally. Oh, welcome Flag Fighter. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Well, thank you so much. We, we, we love doing this. Um, my brother and I, my brother's in the streams every so often too. Uh, we, we just love doing these streams. We love doing the videos. And yeah, we're, we're just glad we can bring you guys along here tonight. Thank you so much. Welcome, Tina. How's your Tuesday going tonight? Oh, Chrissy Lizzie, welcome. Glad you could join us. It, it's a nice night here tonight. Oh, you're good, Izzy. Glad you could join us here tonight. Oh, do we get to 2008 or 100? Oh, that's crazy here. We'll, we'll kind of give an official thank you up here once we get out of the crowds. Um, but that's great. I was kind of, I kind of lost everything. The chat kind of got kind of crazy. I'll kind of address that. Thank you guys so much. That's incredible. That's amazing. Oh yeah, Megan. So the, what happened was with the new members, we were able to get new emojis and that was an older one. So it's kind of hard to see, but that's, um, Rex from the original Star Tours. That's that's fun. That was for um, Hollywood Studios had a birthday or something, and I put that emoji out for a couple days. It's just right there as a little placeholder for now. Oh, thank you, Diana. The the Indiana Jones video was a lot of fun. I, I was just gonna go out there and look for the Indiana Jones things, and Mama Goo and Matt were, were really insistent that I should make a video of it, so hopefully it was fun, hopefully it was entertaining. But yeah, we officially made it. Here, I'm gonna pull up the count here. But yeah, we officially made it to 2,800 subscribers. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. We've, we've had so much fun with these streams, videos, and it's just kind of crazy to look at. We, Matt and I both love doing this. It's so much fun. And it, it's just encouraging to see Goo Crew, and the Goo Crew is honestly what makes this so much fun, honestly. You guys in the chat, it would be a lot more boring for me if I was just walking around doing nothing. It's honestly, it's always Goo to you, not Goo to. Goo to is just nonsense. We're Goo to you, so. Um, yeah, thank you so much. It's been so incredible to do this and yeah, it's been great. I'm really excited to keep going here, keep bringing the goo and um, yeah, hopefully you guys will continue to receive it. So yeah, thank you so much everyone. That's, that's incredible. I, I can't believe that, but um, yeah, that's incredible. Thank you so much everyone. That's great. We're only 200 from 3,000, which is crazy. I remember, um, yeah, it's, it's just so crazy. I remember when we started off, 
that that thousand number just seems so so far but um that's just so incredible thank you so much everyone oh really electric umbrella that harmonious dining package i was it was really fun i'm glad we got to do that that was a fun video i, I want to go do the um spice road table one I've seen some availability in the My Disney Experience, and I was thinking of going, but um, yeah, that, that's great. Oh, should we make a Goose Day emoji? That would be fun. Yeah, we got to our first thousand. Um, it was far into the Halloween season. We went to the boot bash a second time, and then we went live for it. And that that was where it happened. It was it was really exciting. That's crazy. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh yeah, so the Living with the Land had a um, it was like a tour. Um, it was a separate charge. It wasn't very expensive, but you went on it, and basically you got to be taken on like a guided tour around the um, greenhouses. It was called Behind the Seeds Tour, and that that was really fun back in the day. I went on it once. It was it was great. I love living with the land, but um, unfortunately right now it's not going. So. Welcome, Derek. Glad you could join us here tonight. You're here now. It looks like we did get a PayPal up here. Here, let me pull to the side. Welcome, Jimmy Tiger. Welcome to Epcot. Glad you could join us here tonight. Hopefully, you're doing good. But um, yeah, Janet sent a $20 PayPal here um, saying, hope to see you in Disneyland next month because yeah, we're gonna be going to Disneyland. We're gonna be going to the Oogie Boogie Bash, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Janet. You, you've just been such a huge, um, you've just been such a huge help to the channel. You've been so generous. And um, yeah, that's just so kind of you. It's never required. We'll still do the streams. We'll still go along, bring you guys along. But um, yeah, it's just, it's just so helpful. So nice of you. So. Yeah, thank you so much. Feel free to um, message me or something. Maybe we can kind of um, say the dates were there. And um, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Oh, that's great, Derek. Well, hopefully you're having a great time tonight. That's fun. So as far as the, um, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, um, I don't think we'll be streaming the first night. We'll be there the first night. We'll probably be making a video. I don't know. I feel like it's such a long event and I feel like if we make a video, we can show more. Um, but I love the live streams. Matt's, Matt wants to make a video. He's pretty insistent on that. But um, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I kind of want to, I, I feel like the video would be best, but I, I think the stream would be really fun.
I guess I could kind of do like a little short stream in between. I don't know. I feel like I want to. I want to go back. We're gonna be back to the party for sure another night. So I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. We're going to the dessert party uh, for the first night. So they have a dessert party going so you can watch the fireworks. So we're gonna be in the Tomorrowland Terrace getting a full view of the fireworks, which would be pretty fun. And like all the desserts, it's like a buffet of like themed Halloween desserts, which I'm really excited for. Oh, the fish and chips are fun. I've always, so since like the beginning of the channel, I've, I've always said it'd be fun to like do a review of the fish and chips from the quick service compared to the fish and chips from the um, inside restaurant. I think that would be fun to do. Oh yeah, um, as far as walking, I, I walk a lot. I, I love to take the walkways around Disney World. Um, I don't know, I, I really don't. I, I used to like have a um, smart watch. I had an Apple watch that would track everything and then uh, it broke. So it's hard for me to say my phone says like um, on a good stream, 2000 or um, 25,000, I think, or so. I do need some water. Yeah, we'll stop up here. It is kind of hot now. I've always wanted to do like a series, like reviewing all the quick services and like ranking them all, especially like at Disney Springs, because everyone always asks me what's the best quick service at Disney Springs. Oh, the Halloween party's fun. I, I miss them. They, they were fun back in the day. I, if, if you guys are unfamiliar with us, we've been, we started streaming like when the pandemic kind of, when Disney started reopening kind of is when we started. And we never really got to document officially the Halloween parties, but um, they were always fun. I always liked going to them. Matt and I would always go. Sometimes my other brother would come. They're fun. I, I feel like it'll be, it'll be kind of a new experience for me because back then, before I was doing the videos, I was kind of, I, I mostly just went for the rides. I, I really wouldn't really engage in any of the Halloween activities. So it'll be fun. We'll see the parade this year. We'll see everything. <laughs> Welcome, Jules. Hope you're doing good tonight. Thank you so much, Janet. Hopefully you have a great rest of work. And um, yeah, maybe we'll see you soon.
Yeah, a lot of the dates, I don't know, I, I, uh, it's been a while since I've been to a party, but like with Boobash, a lot of the dates that were sold out, if you come day of, or even week of, I think, because I went to, there was a date sold out for Boobash, and I walked up and I said, do you have any, are there any t tickets here for Friday? And they said, yes, there is. So, it doesn't hurt to ask. Um, go to guests, like the city hall, if you're gonna be Magic Kingdom that week, if not. Um, I'm not sure, I, I guess you could just go to Transportation Ticket Center, make sure you go early enough. I was very hopeful. Um, so if you saw Soren is actually doing a single rider line now, which is great. But um, it was giving me hope because I was thinking Ratatouille might go to a single rider because um, they, when they originally opened that attraction, it was built to handle single rider lines. But because of, um, when it first opened, it opened as a virtual queue, meaning that they couldn't really utilize single riders unless they had a virtual queue. So ever since it opened, there's no, been no single rider line, but during previews, they had it all going. Oops, sorry. If you go in the normal line, you see a bunch of signage for single rider as well. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm always walking over here making sure because I think it'd be great to have that back. But yeah, if you guys are joining us tonight, we are currently 128 likes here tonight it'd be great to get to 150 so yeah make sure you guys do hit that like button i, I believe mama goo has volunteered to gift five memberships once we get to 150 so um yeah it'd be great if you guys hit that like button if you're new make sure you subscribe and i uh, will just kind of go from there Yeah, I wish I could get on Remy more. Yeah, I would say with Genie, it, it can help if you know what you're getting into because I feel like a lot of people are just expecting it to be completely just fast pass plus but paid for. It's like a completely whole new system. So if you know how to stack, it works much better in Disneyland. You don't even have to stack. You can just go on any ride within an hour. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, nothing new here. Um, but they do have a good variety of Disneyland Paris merchandise here. Um, this is all they have right now, but yeah. Thank you. Yeah, as of now, I think they're testing the store and single rider line. I don't think, I don't know for sure if it's like here to stay, but I did hear they're testing it. And I, I was tempted to try it out today, but I, I don't know. I've heard from many people that you cannot stream Soren because of copyrights, and I don't want to have any issues here tonight, so. Yeah, Uni Plus is a process. You have to know what you want to do, and you kind of have to do it well, which I feel like can get kind of exhausting. You have to plan your whole day around it, so.
I do like for like if you're doing like the individual lightning lanes, I feel like those can be very nice. No, that, that's horrifying, busy. Matt was telling me. I said, should we ever try Soren? And he said, he said you're gonna drop it. And I was I was completely shocked. I like the plushes here. This one actually speaks in French. So you can say like different phrases in French. Um, you have these ride vehicles, which are really fun. And if you turn these on, they like move the same directions that the ride vehicles move in the ride. So that's kind of cool. I like the mug a lot. I feel like this should be the mug that I should buy. It's only 22, that's not bad. Oh, this is great. Yeah, if I were to ever start collecting pins again, that's probably a good place to start. I like the um the chef jacket as well. I like the um the chef jacket as well. That says chef. That says chef on it, and it has Remy. That's fun. There's lots of swords. We saw lots of swords. Hopefully we're good at connection. I don't want to spend too much time in there just because um, it kind of lags and I don't want to get any more lag here. So hopefully we're good. I'll do another re refresh here. We might go black for a couple minutes. Just stay tuned and uh, we'll be back momentarily. Thanks everyone. Okay, we should be good. Thanks, everyone. Good evening. At 9 o'clock tonight, we invite you to join us for Harmonious, a dazzling display of our shared humanity, featuring spectacular fireworks, multimedia, fountains, and lights, as we fill the balloon with a global community of voices, celebrating the magic of Disney music and the music we make together. We hope you'll join us for Harmonious, beginning this evening at 9 o'clock. Yeah. You know, I agree, Bizen. I think Anton Ego does not like... He, he's, a, he's a very... Um, He's a very cruel man, if you if you know him, and he, he kind of he wanted revenge, so he kind of put bad connection in there. So, oh, the backlot tour was great. All of Hollywood Studios now just feels like a weird park to me because I feel like it's a park that doesn't know what it wants to be because half of it, it it's a smaller park, and the biggest land in the park is just the Star Wars. So. I don't know, I wish they would kind of either make another huge expansion with something else, or I, I don't know. Yeah, so I think the thing was...
There we go. Oh yeah, if you guys are joining us, welcome to Epcot. It's a pretty nice night. It's kind of, it's a little humid, but it's kind of nice. There's a nice breeze. Yeah, hopefully everyone's doing good tonight. <laughs> it's currently 84, uh, but the humidity is making it feel like it's 91. So it's definitely not the worst here. It's, it's actually pretty, pretty comfortable right now. Oh, rank rides from best to worst. Okay. Um, I always have trouble like ranking the rides here at Epcot because I personally living with the land is one of my favorites here. And I hate to not rank it the first one just because it says it's, it's such a, it's such a classic. So that would be very hard. I, I really enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, oh, that's hard. <laughs> Here, I'll do my top three. I'll do Living with the Land, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Space Your Birth. Yeah, I think we're gonna kind of leave the resort and do some resort hopping. That's fun. I don't know, Remy, I, I really enjoy Remy just because I love the Ratatouille movie and I, I just love the expansion there. Um, I don't know. Welcome to wherever we are, the little area between Epcot and the resorts. Hope you're doing good tonight. I've gotten um, five out of six songs. I have not gotten the conga yet, so I've gotten everything but that. I'm, I'm pretty proud of it, but um, yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to try and get all of them here, so that'd be fun. Remy is, I don't know. Remy is hard to rank. I, 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 like, the, um, I like Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it's fun, but... I don't know, Remy, I feel like I would like a lot more if it was easier to get on. If, if that single rider line was open, um, I don't know. Remy is probably in the top four. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, welcome to the Epcot Resort area. We're gonna kind of walk around here, maybe do some resort hopping. Maybe we'll get on the Skyliner, you never know here. And uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I don't think I'd say Remy is the fourth. I, I think I'd say it's in the top four and there's a couple ties there. I'm not good with favorites because I always say one thing and then the next day I like ride and ride or notice some detail. I'm like, oh, that's that's great. And I kind of it kind of shifts everything. So So if you ask me, when, when I went to um, California uh, in January, we went to Disneyland, um, California Adventure Park 
was actually surprisingly really nice. I love the Pixar Pier. I love the um, I, I love the whole elements of everything. Yeah, the Avengers Campus was fine. It wasn't anything like blowing me away, but it was, it was just a nice little addition there. It was fun to walk around. I love the restaurant. That was really fun. But it, it was just nice. It was a nice experience. You could just walk around the park. Cars Land was extremely detailed. I, I don't know. I wish. I, I feel like Hollywood Studios is like, it, it's nowhere near, if you ask me, I think California Adventure is much better. And it, it would be nice. I think the good thing about that park is, at this point, you have so many different lands, uh, so many different things. And I feel like Hollywood Studios is so condensed down to just Star Wars. So, I don't know. Toy Story Land is just so small. Yeah, that's that's fun. So that um, that walkway there is really nice. I think it's technically the smoking section, but no one's really there. So you can always walk down. It's kind of a nice little break because I feel like a lot of times when you're coming here, you have to go over the bridge. And after walking a lot, a lot of people um, don't want to walk a huge uphill and a huge down. So that's fun. Yeah, I wish I wish we could get a Cars Land in Hollywood Studios, or something like that. I don't. They can't do Avengers Campus, apparently, because of the um, there's a there's like a contract with Universal where they can't do any. They can do some Marvel characters, but they can't do Avengers. A lot of the Avengers characters. So, but it'd be fun to get some more different different things there. I think. I like Toy Story Land a lot, but uh, the thing, my issue is, is, is with it, it's in between Star Wars and everything else. And whenever I walk through, I really can't enjoy it because I'm so packed between a lot of people, so. Welcome, Jeffrey. Happy Goose Day. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. We're here at the beach club, just kind of hanging out here. Hope you're doing good. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, we're currently going to be going in the beach club. We're going to take a little break here, get a snack or a drink. Uh, kind of hang, hang out here for a couple of seconds. Then maybe we'll go back, go on the Skyliner. I think that'd be great. And uh, just kind of explore the resorts, kind of walk around, maybe do some shopping. It's always fun to leave the parks. I feel like um, so many people don't even know the resorts are here. So it's always fun to bring you guys here.
no Halloween treats as of yet. I, I think they're going to be coming. A lot of them are going to be in, Hall or in Magic Kingdom for the Halloween party, but, like, they'll be all day. You can get them. Um, oops, sorry. But once they do release, we'll go around. We'll get the wheel out. We'll try them all. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, make sure you guys do hit the like button. We are currently 13 away from a goal of 150 likes here tonight. And once we do get to 150, Mama Goo has volunteered uh, very generously to actually contribute towards uh, five random members here. So, yeah, that'd be great. Oh, that's great, Shauna. It's always fun going around the resorts. I feel like so many people just kind of don't know they're there. And yeah, it, it's been great. I think I kind of discovered all that when we first stayed at the boardwalk. Um, and that, that was the same year we became annual passes, annual pass holders too. So we kind of took advantage of that, walked around the resorts more. Yeah, Yacht and Beach Club are nice. So, we stayed in the Yacht Club um, maybe a year or two ago. Um, probably actually a year at this point. And we, we never made the video, so I've been always wanting to come back. But um, that would be fun. So, as far as resort hopping, um, the best way to do is through bus. Um, it really depends on the security. They, they could say yes, they could say no. Most of the time, it's a no. So... Um, just expect no, I, I think is the best thing to do. Uh, some people have been telling me that you can Uber. However, um, I've, I've heard from other people that you can't sometimes too. So it just ultimately depends on, um, the security. Um, and I guess just the crowds at the resort. So, um, they highly encourage you if you're at Disney Springs, go to Disney Springs, take their buses. If you're at any, um, if you're at any park, you can just take their buses there. But, um. Minivans, you can minivan too. That's that works um, perfect. That's what I was saying. I was thinking it would be fun to kind of minivan um, somewhere, some random resort. Yeah, I wish they would do it. I wish they would kind of have some sort of. I don't know. I, I just wish you could resort hop easier. Welcome, Heather. Welcome to the beach club or yacht club where we are um hopefully you're doing good tonight we're just kind of taking a break i'm drinking um some powerade here i always say if you ever want more shopping you can always walk over to beach club or um boardwalk boardwalk has a good shop um, they have like everything. They have like um, bakery in there. They have like confectionery items. That's fun. <laughs> yep. So 
our cast member was nice enough to replace the lid, which was great. But um, yeah, I think it's twenty dollars. Twenty or um, I think it's twenty. Yeah, um, twenty dollars. You buy this mug, and you can refill it in any resorts. So if you're doing any kind of resort hopping, you can just take this mug with you and fill it up at any quick service. Um, let me check. Oh, that's great, Heather. Thank you so much. Hopefully, you're having a great goose day, as I like to say. And, um, yeah, thanks for coming by. Hopefully, you're doing good. Great to see you in the chat here tonight. So, it only lasts, I think, um, two or three weeks, I think it is. But when you buy it, it's good, at least for me, because I'm in the resorts, like, every day. So... Yeah, they're $20. That's not bad. It, it definitely pays for itself, especially if you're staying at a resort. So, Yeah, and you can... You can reuse it. You can, like, re... re um, renew it, I guess you could call it. But, unfortunately, all the renewing you do has to be, like... It's the same price. So if you want a different design of cup, you can always just buy another cup. That's probably the easiest way to do it. But, yeah. Ill and Compass. Ill and Compass, I like their breakfast. I haven't tried their lunch. I've always wanted to. But, um, yeah, it, it doesn't look anything special. I'm not sure. Um, I like the Yachtsman. The Yachtsman was fine. I, I know it, it just depends. It's a good steakhouse. So if you want a steak, I think I'll be happy. Oh, welcome, Bennett. So these are exclusively for the resort. So if there's any quick service in a resort, um, that's, that's the only way this works. So, um, you, you can't do it in the parks. You can't do it at like water parks. Um, but water parks actually do have their own system, so if you want to buy, like, a mug for a day, I think they have a very similar system. Oh, welcome, Dan. Glad you could join us here today. We're, we're kind of just taking a break. It's kind of humid outside, but, um, glad you could join us here tonight. Yep, we've been to both. So, um, Cape May, which is their official buffet here. Is, is like a, um, it's your official buffet. So if you want like a standard buffet style food, Cape May is the place to go for breakfast. But if you're wanting to um, get something a little different, Eel and Compass for breakfast is like a buffet slash meal, meaning you get like a buffet of like accompaniments, like um, muffins, pastries, biscuits and gravy, all those things on a buffet and then you get an entree. And it's pretty standard. It's 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 a good price. I think it's 20, 20, 25 or something. Yeah, Kip Me is nice. It, it, it's just like a standard Disney breakfast. But if you want that, I feel like it's nice to have here. And it's cheap enough as of now before characters come back. No, characters are not back yet. Um, I think they did announce a date, though. So... Yeah, I think they announced the date soon when the characters are coming back. Um, I'm not 100% sure on when, but I know they are. That's a good question, Winifred. So, actually, I had never, I was just graduating high school, 
and I never ever considered the thought of doing videos or live streams until Matt told me I should. And I, I kind of laughed at it. And then I kind of started thinking that'd be kind of fun. But it was just kind of crazy. I, I never really imagined I, w I would be doing some videos and then Matt, Matt just told me you should do it. And it just kind of went from there. He just kept telling me to. And, and the thing was, the big thing was when my college went online because of COVID, um, I had to come down here or I, I was just online for school and I decided to come down with Matt and Matt invited me down here. And that, that's kind of when I started making the videos. So that's fun. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, welcome to the Beach Club Resort. Uh, we're here just kind of walking around doing some slight resort hopping. Um, as of now, we're kind of open to anything. So if you guys would rather go on the Skyliner, uh, you'd rather just go to Hollywood Studios, we can always do that. If you guys would rather just kind of walk around here, we can take a minivan maybe. Either way, let us know what you guys think. If there's any resort you guys want to see, let us know. And we'll just kind of enjoy the atmosphere here. I feel like there's so many... Um, peaceful environments over here you can enjoy. So, yeah, glad we can bring you guys along tonight. Oh, I miss I miss Crystal Palace breakfast. Those those were good days. Um, who else had breakfast? Somebody else had breakfast that I miss. A lot of restaurants got rid of breakfast, and. There's really not many places. Oh, um, what's it called? Garden Grill had breakfast as well. But yeah, if you guys are watching, make sure you guys do hit the like button as well. It'd be great to get to 150 as soon as possible. And when we do, um, Mama Goo has volunteered to, um, to give five Goo Crew memberships to anyone watching so yeah make sure you guys do that Our membership program is a lot of fun and yeah welcome weirdo king hopefully you're doing good tonight yeah that would be fun i i really like porter lands i went there in um the last video we did and um yeah I wish there was an easier way. I also like Coronado too. I really like Coronado Resort, Coronado Springs, um, the Destino Tower over there. But you can't get to it unless you take a bus, minivan. If you go to Coronado, you can actually walk over to um, Winter Summerland, which is their mini golf course, which, which I've been wanting to do on a stream eventually. Welcome, Ed. Glad you could join us here tonight. Welcome to the Epcot Resort area. Hope you're doing good tonight. Oh, the mini donuts would be great. <laughs> Those are those are fun. Yeah, I, I wish Joffrey's. Yeah, that would be. That, I wish they did. Oh, the Halloween party is gonna be fun. We're gonna be, we're gonna be making a video, I think, of the first one. Maybe we'll do like a small stream some, sometime during the night. Uh, but we're gonna be going to the firework dessert party for the um, party as well, which I'm really excited for. That should be fun. Oh, and 
Yeah, that's a great question. So somebody was asking about being notified for streams. If you guys want to be notified for future streams, make sure you guys do. Uh, you'll click on our name. Oh, let me see. So you'll click on us, our, the name of our channel, and there'll be like a little bell there. If you click the bell, you can set notifications. Um, that's gonna be notification bell. where It'll notify you whenever we do lives or videos. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, we're going down the, the goo way on this fine goose day. That's exciting. Yeah, I think Matt's working until midnight tonight. I think we're gonna go to the Skyliner for now. We'll go and we could get off anywhere. We can always go from there. And we can always go to Hollywood Studios if we'd rather do that too. So I, I feel like that's our best option here. Yeah, so in college, I did a lot of video, so one of the reasons why, um, another reason I kind of got into the videos was because I, I, I personally love doing a lot of video work. Um, that's just kind of a hobby of mine. And that, that's kind of, I, I just love doing videos. I love the technical editing process. So I did a lot of video things in college. Oh great, we got the 150. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, it's the same every Friday, 12 to 7. But I will say one thing, the goo to you, official goo to you policy on Skyliner riding is if we are placed in the cabin with another party, I will not stop, I will not talk at all. So uh, just because I don't want to be yelling to the, to the phone during other people's Skyliner things, I don't want to ruin it. So yeah, if we get on Skyliner with another party, we're going to kind of be quiet, relax, enjoy the ride, and we'll just kind of go from there. So Mama Goo has done her five memberships here. Thank you so much. That's great. Hopefully you guys enjoy those. Thank you so much, Mama Goo. Just laying open. One. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like we got lucky here. We got our own Skyliner here. 
But yeah, that's great. I think, so, four of the memberships were given out. I think what happens was, if anyone's watching and is not a member, it could be that not everyone, um, that there may be somebody watching that has not accepted. So I don't know, I, I noticed one day in like the chat, it says allow memberships, like a little thing you click on. So if anyone still has that in their chat, make sure you click on that, allow that. Um, I don't know, that's weird. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, we're just riding the Skyliner, just seeing what's happening. And um, yeah. Hopefully everyone's doing good tonight. There's Remy. But yeah, the membership program, so essentially if anyone doesn't know what it, what, what it is, it's like a, um, if you know what Patreon is, it's kind of like a membership thing, like where you can, um, it's $2.99 a month, the cheapest one, and you join, you get some exclusive videos, exclusive live streams, and you get to use fun little emojis in the chat, and there's a lot of other fun benefits. Um, if you click on the membership, you can kind of learn a little more on what those benefits are. But um, yeah, that, we have a lot of fun with them. We have some exclusive videos. So make sure if you guys did become members, you check all those out. You click on our channel. You go under the membership tab on our channel, and you'll see a lot of fun things. Um, but yeah, since we have a lot more members here, we're going to have to try and do some more member streams. I think that would be fun. And uh, just kind of go from there. I'm not 100% sure. This whole um, gifting membership thing is a little kind of vague to me. Uh, I'm kind of new to it as well. Um, but does it say anywhere like on your chat, like a little message that says allow membership and you can click on it? If not, um, I'm not 100% sure actually. There might be some settings you can do. Yeah, we're going to be going, so first of all, any day now the Halloween merchandise will be released. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to think it's tomorrow, just because the last time it was two days before the Halloween party last year. So, whenever that happens, we'll be there, we'll be showing it all, uh, whether video or live stream. And then, um, yeah, we'll be on the first day of the Halloween party, we'll be there for that, we're going to be to Horror Nights. We might even go to Horror Nights in Hollywood as well, since we'll be around there at the time. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun things to do around here. I'm excited. And whatever the treats come out to, we're going to have to try all the Halloween treats. Yeah, so Magic Kingdom has, like, all the pumpkins up, too. Yeah, that's right. They they added, like, a bunch of, I think, like, the scarecrows this morning. Um, I was really thinking that today was going to be the day for the merchandise. I was getting ready to go, and it didn't. Oh, that should be great. October 30th sounds really fun. I, I've always wanted to go, like, on those days closer to Halloween. I think that'd be really fun. This will be good. We're, we're going to try and go at least one more time, I think.
But yeah, if you guys are coming in, welcome to this Atcos Skyliner. We're currently heading, it's gonna take us straight to Riviera. Uh, we can either get off at Riviera or that, but um, yeah, we'll come hang out around here, do some resort hopping. If anyone wants to go to any other parks, I'm also open to that as well. So yeah, we'll just kind of see where we go, see where we end up, and just kind of enjoy the atmosphere here. So that should be fun. Oh, is it electric umbrella? Yeah, I need to look into this a little more. I, I kind of at first I kind of figured it was just anyone who was in the chat, and then um, I, I saw in the chat that you kind of have to accept membership if you want it. So, can anyone confirm? Like, has anyone like gotten the membership, been on mobile? We could the Magic Kingdom. That would be fun. Yeah, uh, it would be great to go. We could go see the pumpkins. We could do that. It's up to you guys. Should we get off at Riviera here? Okay, so Diane did get it on her phone. Did you have to confirm something, Diane? Like, did you have to click allow gifts or something? That's interesting. Yeah, we'll get off of Riviera. We'll, we'll see what goes on. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll go to Magic Kingdom. Riviera. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so I think what happens is, if you look on the chat, I don't know how to get the message up or to, like, somehow get the message to be there but i think it says somewhere in the chat allow allow gifts and if you allow gifts then you can accept gifts oh look there's pumpkins that's exciting we'll look around riviera we'll walk around a little bit we'll maybe get a snack or something and then we'll kind of head towards magic kingdom look at some pumpkins and we'll kind of go from there Okay, that might work. Diane says to close the app and come back into the app. And it, I think it looks like a little message on the chat from YouTube and it says, allow gifts. Okay, great. There we go, Ed said. Let me see. If you click on the prison icon when somebody sends a gift you can accept it there okay there we go thank you ed yeah th this is a newer thing on youtube so I i'm kind of getting used to it as well as you guys so thanks for your patience there's some murals up here oh welcome leslie yes yeah, so the skyliner can take you from Epcot to, Hall, or it goes from Epcot to Riviera and Caribbean Beach. And from there you can take a different Skyliner to Pop Century, Art of Animation, and Hollywood Studios. So, that's fun. Hopefully you're doing good though. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to some resort hop. I'm glad you could join us here tonight. I want to say Revere is maybe four years old. Yeah, the pumpkins, it's, it's getting very spooky in the goo chat here. But yeah, if you guys are coming in, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, 
Uh, we just recently got to 2,800, which is great. Thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, we're getting really close to 3,000, so make sure you guys do subscribe. We'd love to have you guys as members of the Goo Crew. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, this is nice. I feel like it's fun just to walk around here. It's kind of a different atmosphere. So you can kind of look around here. They play some really fun music as well. They always do like music, a music loop of like all the classic Disney songs, but in like French or Italian, which is kind of fun because uh, the Riviera Resort here is inspired by both the Italian and French Riviera. So you're getting a little bit both here, but um, it's fun. You have a lot of different signs here, posters of like different iconic Disney movies like in French or Italian. That's fun. Yeah, Riviera has like a distinct smell, which is kind of fun. But um, bear with us if we have any lag here. Sometimes elevators give us lag. We're good, I think. Yeah, hopefully we can make it to one of the Halloween parties in October. Um, I, we always go to the first one now, and I, I feel like there's so much, it's, it's fun going like closer to Halloween, because on the first one, like seriously, it's like, it's August. So um, it, it definitely doesn't feel as exciting. Oh, Topolino's is great. I've, I've been wanting to go back, but like reservations are hard to get. We'll get a quick look at merchandise here. Hi. Yeah, pretty much all the resorts I've seen have gotten Magic Band Plus to some capacity. So that's good to see. And this is a DVC, Disney Vacation Club resort. So if you're staying here, you have a lot of fun Disney Vacation Club merchandise, which is kind of great. You have lounge flies, you have ears. You even have some like exclusive shirts here, which is kind of fun. Yeah, there's a lot of really fun, like small um, benefits for DVC. So that's fun. <laughs> Rufy here is more, um, more of the pricier ones, I think. But um, yeah, you have a lot of fun like keychains here, Riviera shirts. That's fun. Yeah, I think if anything, Riviera has the more, the most merchandise out of many of the um, resorts I've been to. You have shirts, you have plushes, you have pictures, you have magnets, you have lounge flies. I think you even have a magic band that was available a little bit ago. You have ornaments, you have picture frames. You have just glasses, you have button up shirts, you have pillows, more ornaments, different types of robes. So um, yeah, it, it's fun. It's fun to be around here. And then you have the operation vacation club game, which I think is kind of fun.
Thank you. But yeah, Riviera, I feel like it's, it's such kind of like a um, atmosphere. You just walk around here, you hear the music, you see the tower. We'll go out here. Welcome, eh? Welcome to the Riviera. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. There you go. Here's a look at the resort here. Th this is great. So that's actually their quick service right there, which I've heard really good things. I haven't tried in a while, but um, yeah, the quick service is there. You have the big pool over there with like a movie screen that they inflate for movies. Um, so you can actually sit in the pool and watch movies, I think. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's just a really nice resort kind of, um, it is a more deluxe resort, so it can get a little pricier. But um, yeah, it's great. I, I haven't stayed here, I've stayed here once. So it'd be great to stay here again someday soon, but that's fun. Welcome to Josefelli, welcome to the Revere Resort. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, so that's the main pool right there. This is your quiet pool right here. And um, yeah, and I will say, um, if you're staying here and you want more food options, you can always walk over to Caribbean Beach. It's just a very short walk over to the lobby. So yeah, I know when we stayed here, it was fun just to walk around, go over to Caribbean Beach. They have Sebastian's over there. They have good quick service there as well. So yeah, S same for Caribbean too. So if you want to come over to Riviera, you can walk over here, get some food, um, kind of enjoy the atmosphere here too. So yeah, that's great. Oh, great. It looks like Winifred actually gifted a little earlier here. So, yeah. Thank you so much, Winifred. Here, I'll, I'll kind of flip it here. Um, but that's a really fun surprise. Thank you so much. Um, it's been so much fun to see the memberships kind of given out here and also kind of see, like, people receive them. So, yeah, that was so kind of you. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, that's great. Thank you. And congratulations to anyone who got memberships. That, that's great. Okay, so the membership program, it's really fun. So essentially our membership, we have like a membership program where you can like, you can choose your level. Um, it starts at $2.99 a month. And when you join it, um, we have like some exclusive perks. You get some like exclusive videos. You get some exclusive um, live streams, some little fun emojis in the chat, which are kind of fun to see. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. We, we try and make it kind of fun, do some fun things with that. and. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. I'm so glad YouTube's been doing this new thing where you can kind of gift memberships to people watching so we can kind of give it to you guys. And yeah, that's great. It's so much fun to see this happen. And um, yeah. Oh, great. And also Winifred has been a member herself for seven months. Um, thank you so much. It's been so much fun. Um, Matt and I have had a, had a lot of fun making the emojis, doing some exclusive videos. Um, I, I just think it's been a fun time here. So yeah, thank you so much. So glad we can kind of take you um, along here tonight. And um, yeah. Hopefully you have a great night tonight too. That's great. But if you guys are joining us right now, welcome. We're currently walking over to the bus here to get to Magic Kingdom. We're gonna look at some new pumpkins, maybe get on a couple rides there. And I'm um, just gonna have a fun night tonight. So yeah, hopefully everyone's doing good. Enjoy the stream. And um, we'll just kind of go from there. Oh, here's the Magic Kingdom bus.
Thank you. Thank you. To send notifications for the streams, um, you're going to look next to the subscribe button on our channel and there will be like a little bell. If you click that bell, it'll kind of notify you whenever we go live or do videos. Oh, that's weird electric umbrella. Ooh, which, I'll try and look into it a little bit tonight. I'm, I'm so sorry. over towards Magic Kingdom. We're going to head over, head from there. And, um, yeah, it should be good. There's the Riviera. Oh, good resort to stay at. My personal favorite, I would say. I really like the Boardwalk or Beach Club or any of, like, those Epcot resort areas because you can get easily to Epcot or Hollywood Studios, which I really enjoy. Um, I also really like Polynesian. Polynesian's really nice. It's kind of um, peaceful around there, not many people. They're building a new tower over there. They're building a new tower over there, so... Um, but yeah, they're building a new tower over there soon, and I feel like that's going to add a lot more people to the resort, but... Um, yeah. It's still nice. It's very peaceful. Yeah, Polynesian is great. So we're going to be... So this year it's not the boot bash. It's the Halloween party. And uh, we're going to be there the first night. Not live. We're going to probably have a video. Um, but we're going to be doing the firework dessert party as well. So we're going to show the firework dessert party. And um, yeah, that should be good. I'm excited for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I, I, I really like any of the resorts that you can like get to the parks easily from. If you're staying at Contemporary, you can walk like five minutes to Magic Kingdom, which is great. Yeah, I, and I feel like if you add a new tower over there, it's going to make Polynesian way a whole different atmosphere, I think.
Oh, Herc and Meg. Welcome. Well, thank you so much. That, that's great. Yeah, the membership is a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoy that. We have some fun little emojis and some fun little live streams, exclusive live streams and videos too. So, yeah, thank you so much. Glad you got to um, get a little congratulations there. And, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy that. Oh, favorite rides in Magic Kingdom. I, I always go back and forth about that one too. I, I love Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion. Those are kind of like the two classics. Um, yeah, I would say so. I think you can't really beat like the, the adventure fuel Pirates of the Caribbean, I think. In Haunted Mansion, the effects still live up today, which is great. Yep, they're going to be building a new tower, like a DVC tower, similar to Riviera, Riviera type thing, over right next to Polynesian. And, I don't know, first of all, I, I feel like you can kind of debate whether it fits at the Polynesian, I feel like uh, you could debate that. But the biggest thing for me, I think, is that you're getting a huge tower right next to this kind of peaceful resort. I, I feel like it's going to be really, really crowded, so... I wish we would get that out, Box Ghost. That would be great. Yeah, personally for me, I feel like the tower doesn't fit there at all. Um, yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be It'd be one thing if it was its own resort, like Reflections. Reflections was something that was going to be built um, around the monorail area, around Magic Kingdom. And then they... And the thing is with Reflections, it was something separate. It wasn't its... It was its own thing. I, I don't think this fits well with Paul Neaver. But, um, we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how it fits. But yeah, if you guys are coming in, welcome. We're currently on the bus over here heading towards Magic Kingdom. Um, yeah, if you guys are coming in, welcome. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see over Magic Kingdom. We're going to kind of walk around, try and see the pumpkins, and um, just kind of go from there. I think I did hear that enchantment's at 9 o'clock, I think I heard tonight. So we're going to kind of see if that's happening, see how things are going. And um, we'll just kind of go from there. We'll just enjoy the park, do some shopping. Um, should be pretty fun. I'm excited. Welcome traveling around Disney. <laughs> Hope you're doing good tonight. 
that was great. Um, we actually got to go to brunch with Traveling Around Disney the other day. They have a fantastic channel. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, um, Todd and Michelle, they're great. If you guys want to check them out, they do some great videos. And um, yeah, that was really fun. We're going to try and do some more um, meals together, but yeah, hopefully you guys are doing good tonight. I think the next live will be, oh, I don't know. That's true. I'll keep you guys updated because Friday is the Halloween party. Um, I don't think we'll be live for that, but I'll keep you guys updated. Maybe we'll do one Thursday or um, Saturday to make up for it. Yeah, we'll look for Matt too. He's working tonight. Welcome, John. Glad you could join us here tonight. Welcome to the bus. We're heading to Magic Kingdom. Oh, Makaya, welcome. Welcome to you as well. Yeah, glad you could join us here tonight. We're kind of starting to head towards Magic Kingdom. I guess I should try, kind of change the thumbnail. But, yeah, the brunch punch. That'd be great. Yeah, that was really fun. But yeah, if you guys are coming in, welcome to the bus. We're heading towards Magic Kingdom. We're going to kind of see what's going on over there. And um, yeah, it should be pretty fun. I'm excited. I know merchandise is not here yet, but... Um, yeah, that'll be fun. I'm excited for all the Halloween merchandise. Yeah, I wanted to go, so um, there were a lot of brunches that I think would be fun to kind of go to. It would be fun to like rank all the brunches, I think. I personally don't really park. I live right next to Magic Kingdom, so, um, and personally for me, there's a bus stop right next to where I live, and one stop I can get the transportation ticket center, so. I, I pretty much use Disney's transportation and then go from there. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Return servicing to resort hotels is available at this station. Be sure to ask your driver for the exact location. Smoking is not permitted in Magic Kingdom, except in the designated area outside the park entrance. Please collect your belongings, watch your head, and set as you disembark. Take small children by the hand. Follow the walkway to the main entrance. As you approach the entrance, please keep your party together. Thanks for our evenings, and have a wonderful time here at the Magic Kingdom. Oh yeah, I forgot. California Grill used to have brunch. I, I enjoyed that back then. That was fun. I don't. They don't do that now. I, I miss when they had the wave. They had the wave open California Grill at one point, which was a lot of fun.
let me know traveling around Disney whenever. Um, yeah, it'd be great to kind of do it on a meal together. That'd be great. That was a lot of fun. Welcome, Jeff. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. We're here. We're, we're kind of trying to head in the park here. Trying to kind of beat some firework crowds. But, um, yeah, hopefully you're doing good tonight. I need to update the thumbnail. Yeah, that was when they were playing the Mr. Toad, the original music from the Mr. Toad attraction, which is great. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, welcome to Magic Kingdom. We made it. Uh, we're going to be trying to head in the park soon, but as of now, I think, unfortunately, we do have to, we cannot film security. So what's going to happen here is you're going to fly up and I'm going to put you guys in my pocket. Um, and then you can kind of guess what's in my pocket. I, I know a lot of people like to do that. So, yeah. I, I think one time someone found Matt in my pocket. I don't know how that worked, but apparently he's hiding in my pocket. But, um, yeah, from there we'll kind of head in the park, see what's going on. And um, should be good. Yeah, I feel like the two the two games, what's in my pocket and where's Matt? So that being said, when we go through security, you'll just see a bunch of just black. And um, yeah, we should be back momentarily. Thanks everyone. Thank you. 
Thank you. Doing good. We're here at Magic Kingdom. Oh, we have big pumpkins here. Yeah, I, I kept a rant and pog juice in my pocket. I think they have Tron on there, but they don't. It's like um, it says like coming soon. But you have like a giant pumpkin here smiling at me that's fun you're getting these are like huge these are big props i i don't know maybe these were um i don't remember these from previous years maybe they were but you have a, fun, a lot of fun details there a lot of the reefs are up we'll kind of look around here but yeah if you guys are joining welcome to magic kingdom hopefully everyone's doing good made more brilliant by the light that lives within you. It inspires us to wish upon stars, follow our hearts, and find our happily ever afters. Tonight, as we gather together under the spires of this majestic castle, our dreams ignite the magic to create a beacon shining out and celebrating 50 years of the most magical place on earth. That's fun. So that's their Beacon of Magic show. It actually interacts with the magic bands. Um, it really wasn't doing too much, but that's fun. Here, I'm gonna stop at this trash can here. We'll look at some more pumpkins. I'm just gonna plug in the phone since it is kind of dying. And from there, we'll kind of go on, walk around the park, and I will just kind of go from there. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get some sort of Tron update in D23. To, to know what kind of update, I don't know. Oh, welcome, Steph. Glad you could join us here tonight. We're kind of um, enjoying the park here. We, we did go to Epcot and um, Riviera a little bit, but um, yeah, we kind of decided to kind of go to Magic Kingdom a little bit here tonight. But yeah, glad you could join us here. Oh yeah, yeah, these giant like um sorry. These giant like pumpkin people just sitting around here. I don't know I don't remember these being here last year. I, I really didn't it could be I just didn't pay attention, but these are kind of fun. You have like these giant sculpt these giant like people walking around there, pumpkins. Oh Pooh's only 15. That would be fun. For some reason poo like during the day just gets very long and it's a very long wait. But yeah, that pumpkin there playing drum. It's fun. But I think we're going to kind of use the walkway 
to go back into um, Tomorrowland. We're looking to go from there, get on Pooh maybe, get on Haunted Mansion, Pirates of the Caribbean, and um, yeah, should be good. And I also will say while everyone's here, uh, if you guys are watching us and you've been watching us, um, make sure you guys also do check out all our social medias. We are on um, Instagram, Facebook. We actually have a new Facebook group too. So if you guys want to join it, I believe it's the Goo to You Goo Crew community where we kind of keep you guys updated. And um, yeah. You have all these statues ready for the party. It's fun. It's fun. The Halloween party is coming together, which is great. Our official goal tonight was 150 since it's a weekday. But um, it'd be great to get to 200 here tonight. That'd be great. Oh yeah, we could we could do people mover. That'd be fun. We could do people mover, watch the fireworks. I think that'd be great. Oh great, thank you Bizen. Bizen put the link for the Facebook group if you guys want to join. We have a lot of fun there. We can have post some fun pictures. about 10 minutes till fireworks so i think we're gonna try and go i think first of all i think it'd be fun to kind of go on we'll see if buzz buzz is always a walk on at this point so maybe we'll try and walk on there and then get on the people mover so that should be good matt works on main street but it's very hard to find him during fireworks because everything's so crowded so we'll look for him on our way out could join us here tonight oh it's a full moon here tonight too we're gonna go on buzz then the people mover watch the fireworks and the people mover and um yeah should be good i feel like we're gonna finally have to do like a celebration i think i said we were gonna do one for 2000 but we never did one so Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna be doing um, buzz here. We're gonna try and get on people over, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. Yeah, off the beat manager tonight. Welcome, Mr. Hester. Glad you can join us. Welcome to Buzz Lightyear. Good luck, Ray. That's true, Robert. The next Well, I said, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you guys are joining us, we're going to get on the people mover, watch the fireworks, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. We really have until the park closes to do whatever we want here, and um, yeah, should be pretty good. Thank you. Absolute best way to see tomorrow. And my stars were never lost to see. 
spacecraft to monster labs. There's really nothing like it today in tomorrow. For your safety, if you have wings, jetpacks, or gravity polarizers, please do not take flight while on board.
Cards from Galaxy M31. Please keep all your symbol of interplanetary harmony and fellowship. Hop aboard and launch high above Tomorrowland for a spin amongst the planets. The next station is Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. As usual, we'll keep moving ahead, and so does the carousel. Like progress itself, this theater never stops, inspiring new generations to dream of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Looks like we did get some PayPal's here. I'll talk about them when we get off the ride. Thank you guys so much, though. Now approaching Tomorrowland Transit Authority Station. My fellow sentient life forms, people who project here. Thanks for writing me. It's been a pleasure to have you aboard. And even though we're concluding, this is always my favorite one, because now it's the time, now it's the best time to go home and explore tomorrow. See you in the future. Get you in the fireworks here, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Thanks, everyone. We did get two PayPal, so I'm gonna wait till it's a little quieter here, kind of give an official thank you. But thank you so much, Jeff and Steph.
there we go. That was fun. I I'm glad we got to kind of get on the people mover, see the fireworks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, but we did get a PayPal. My phone died, unfortunately, so I didn't get to address them right when they happened. But um, yeah, I'm going to stop here at this trash can and give an official thank you. Thank you guys so much. You guys have just been so kind, uh, so generous, and it, it really just helps out so much. So I'll put it down. Here we go. Um, but yeah, first of all, Steph, I believe, or no, first was Jeff. Jeff sent $10 towards the snack fund. And that's true, we haven't had any snacks here tonight, so we're gonna kinda have to change that, try and get some more snacks. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, Jeff. Um, that's really nice of you. You've been such a huge help to the channel. And um, yeah, for sure, we're gonna have to stop at Casey's or somewhere, get some food, and um, that's great. But at that point, Steph actually sent 20 more dollars for snacks galore. So we had original, we originally just had snacks, which is great. Um, and then it's been upgraded to snacks galore. So we're gonna go get some snacks here. And um, yeah, huge thank you to Steph and Jeff. You guys have been so generous. Never require, we always will still continue to eat snacks, continue to be here. But um, yeah, it just really helps us do so much more. And um, now we're gonna have to do snacks galore, which is kind of a step up. So yeah, thank you guys so much. That's so kind of you guys. And um, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Thank you. great we're gonna have to go find some snacks galore but yeah if you guys are coming in it looks like we just got to 200 likes thank you guys so much our official goal tonight was technically 150 and 200 was gonna be like the big goal and it looks like we made it so yeah thank you guys so much you guys are um you guys have been so supportive and um yeah it's been so great tonight hopefully you guys enjoyed everything here Christopher. Hopefully you're doing good. Yeah, everyone's rushing into the park now because the park closes at 10 now and they have about 20 minutes more. Exciting. We're gonna have to find oh we should find Matt and ride Haunted Mansion. So we can so here's the thing. We can go should we try and ride rides or should we try and go just eat as much as we can as far as snacks? Okay, great. Okay, let's go to Haunted Mansion and we'll see what's open afterwards. I think that's a good plan. Then we'll have snacks galore. Oh boy, this is gonna be hard. This is not a good idea. Okay, we're gonna kind of stay here. Yeah, let's just cut through Fantasyland. We'll go over here, we'll go in Fantasyland. It'll be quick enough. We are in the middle, kind of on the side. So for oh, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Glad you could join us here tonight. We're kind of trying to get on a ride before the park closes while also getting some snacks here. How late is Sleepy, is Sleepy Hollow closed? Oh, they're open, okay. 
It'd be fun to go get one of those um, Nutella waffles from Sleepy Hollow, if we have time. No pickles galore. That, that's why that emoji is there. I wouldn't consider snacks or um, pickles a snack. I think I'd consider them, I, I guess, I don't know, trash. Disgusting. Oh great, it looks like, um, a little, I think the memberships were there. Let me see. Oh look, it looks like um, EJ actually, let me see, is this right? Did EJ just gift um, memberships again? Or was that left over? It's coming weird on my end, let me, let me double check. Oh great, so it looks like EJ gifted five more members. Thank you so much. Um, we've had a lot of fun with this and the membership program has just been something that I've had a lot of fun doing with you guys. And um, yeah, that's great. Congratulations if you guys became members. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Check out the exclusive content, exclusive emojis. That's great. Oh man. She just drank pickle juice? Well, thank you so much, EJ. That's so nice of you. And um, yeah, that's great. You know, so if you guys know me, I don't like pickles. And this is, this is this was shocking to me. The other day I was just checking my phone and I got a text message. And it was it was terrible because like, here, let me see if I can pull it up. I'm on a bunch of text messages for different restaurants. I don't even know how I got into them. But I, I got in one with Sonic. And for some reason, Sonic had the nerve to text me this. They said, pickle people unite. There's a new big dill cheeseburger and a pickle juice slushy, or um, yeah, slush. And I, I'm like, I'm like furious at this point. This is, this is crazy. And like, the fact that they sent it to me, I was, I was telling Matt, I was like, this looks, this makes me want to throw up. Look at this thing. That's like out of a horror movie right there. That's horrifying. I, I don't, it was, it was. And I, and I was just thinking there, I told Matt, I'm lucky that there's no Sonics on Disney property because that's, that's horrifying. Yeah, it's a pickle juice slushy. First of all, I don't know how they came up with that idea. But like, that's that's horrifying. Looks good. I, th I think that's that's a mistake there. And it'd be one thing if they just sent me like a normal advertisement, but it says pickle lovers unite. Like, I'm a pickle lover and I'm uniting with them. Well, anyways, I'm not going to start thinking about that or I'm going to throw up. So, yeah, if you guys are joining us, we're going to try and get in a haunted mansion. Um, and we'll just kind of go from there. Thanks, everyone. Okay, good business. That's, that's good to hear. Oh, 
Wilbur, welcome. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, let us know if there's anything you want to see. If there's a ride or a store or anything, let us know. We always want to make these streams as enjoyable as possible. And um, yeah, thank you so much for coming in. Hopefully you enjoy the stream here. Oh, is it 40 minutes right now? Really? Oh, wow. I want to do Hunter Mansion. Let me see. Uh, what do you guys think? That The line is kind of coming out of the queue a little bit. Um, I, I really wasn't expecting it to be this busy right now. We could, we could try. We could go to Pirates. We could just go straight to um, Snacks Galore. Yeah, the Halloween party is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited. Yeah, that's pretty long right now. Well, honestly, Megan, Matt and I both really enjoy this. We, we enjoy doing it. So, yeah, thank you so much. We, we love to kind of bring the goo, as I like to say. And um, it, it, just, it just makes me happy to see that the goo has been brought. So... Thank you. Maybe this next school. We'll head in this direction. Um, we'll, we'll go over here. We'll head in this direction. We'll head towards Snacks Galore and Pirates. Maybe we should do like Snacks Galore. I should go somewhere in order of just a lot of things and just try them all. Because I really... What have I... I didn't really eat very much today, so maybe we'll kind of get a huge dinner here. I don't know. I don't I didn't really eat too much today. Maybe we'll kind of do a dinner. If you guys come in or are new to the channel, I, I really don't eat until much later. Just because Matt gets off late, and um, it's always easier to eat at the same time with Matt. But... I feel like we should just start saying that now. Snacks galore. I feel like that should be a new goose saying here. Yeah, we'll go look for Matt. Anytime we eat, we should just say snacks galore. That should just be the new saying here. But um, yeah, we're gonna go get snacks galore. We're gonna go get some food and we'll kind of just go from there. I wanna get Sleepy Hollow, or I'm tempted to. Oh, there we go. Snacks galore. mobile order here and what can I go from there
Oops, sorry. Oh yeah, you can get some great views of the castle here. Yeah, that's great. I don't think I've tried the Nutella waffle. Um, if I have, it's been like 20 years ago, so. We have to hit on pickles, unfortunately. And it wasn't me who, who's, who's doing it, it's the pickles that did to me, so. Yeah, you can get some great views here. There was actually a photo pass photographer taking pictures in front of the castle right there too. So you can kind of take your picture right in front of the castle, which is great. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, we're going to get some snacks. We're going to get one of these Nutella waffles. And we're going to head over towards Casey's and maybe get some corn dog nuggets. Um, fortunately, I think Casey's is open a little bit after the park closes. So we'll kind of stay around here. We'll kind of do what we do here. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. No allergies. It's the pickles that have done it to me, so. The thing is, Matt doesn't really know much about Photoshop, so he doesn't really have the power to make a pickle emoji. So I can only, I, only, I have the power to make a non-pickle emoji, so there you go. Olives aren't bad. The texture is a little weird, but I don't mind them. Pickles are like the, that's the thing. Oh no. I wasn't really taking into account the stickiness that may be involved, but we'll kind of, we'll try it out. Ready? Hi. Uh, one, three, five, two. Daniel Pope? Yep. Here you are, my friend. I like Great. your hat, by the Thank way. Thank you. And I had a water as well. Certainly, yes. Great. Bottle? You Thank are, you. you have a great night. Thanks. Yeah, I do have wipes. Yeah, so actually, I used some wipes. Bizen actually sent me some wipes one time, and these are perfect for for um, Disney World. I'll, I'll show them in a minute. And if you if you do, are you interested in them? We have our Instagram or our, um, Amazon store where we sell. Um, oh, it's loud. Where we have things on there. So I think there's a link somewhere. 
We could try and get an Octomansion. That might be a good option. But yeah, we, I use these um, Tiara wipes. The lighting here is horrible, but we're just going to do it. Um, but these are good. These are nice. Oh, great. Thank you, Boozin. There's the link to our Amazon. That's, that's, that's great. But um, I'm going to use a wipe. We're going to try this sandwich thing, and I'll show it to you, and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, they're easy to carry around. Some of them set the metal detectors off um, here at Disney, so keep that in mind. These ones are good. But here's the Nutella waffle with the fruit. This looks pretty good. It looks good. I feel like it has kind of a um, history to it. Everyone loved this thing. So yeah, I'll kind of try it out. We'll see how it is. The fruit waffle. I'm going to put the um, phone to charge really quick before we eat it. And we'll kind of go from there. I have wipes with me. I'm good. I'm prepared. All right. It's hot. Or it's not hot. It's kind of um, soggy, I guess you could say. I'll try it out. This is nice. I wish it was hot. That would be great. Yeah, so we have a wireless microphone, but it has to plug into the main unit thing. And um, I've looked into different like splitters, but a lot of them are only headphone splitters. So um, I don't know. I just need both connect um, the lightning. So I don't know. I, I, I've always looked for something, but there's like those long ones that kind of tilt down the phone a little bit. And I don't want to like. Uh, move the weight anywhere because the stabilizer is holding it so I've, I've looked I haven't found any um, I don't know if you have any you were, you were thinking of but it'd be fun it'd be good to have something like that
It's really nice. Um, however, my complaint with it, I think a lot of people will like it, and I like it. But um, my issue with it, the waffle is just normal waffle. It's nothing really. There's nothing really added to the waffle. I wish the waffle was hot. That would be great. But um, it's nice. I enjoyed it a lot. So it, it's hard for me because it's very much enjoyable, but the quality, it's, it's just the normal waffle with hazelnut Nutella on it. So it's nice. It's not really anything special. I, I feel like it's just good because I think a lot of people like Nutella and they like waffles. The waffle didn't really have much like outstanding flavor or anything, which I, um, but I think it's just a simple good snack here. So if you're looking for just a nice fruit Nutella, nice thing here, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think my main issue with it, I wish there was like a, another element here so the fruit was fresh the Nutella was great um i just wish the waffle was a little bit better so i'm gonna give it a 3.5 um pretty nice not anything outstanding but it's nice enough pretty enjoyable oh welcome back brown for kevin you missed a little bit of the people mover and um i'm not sure if you were here for living with the land but we got on there too but um yeah but you're back here and luckily I didn't get too sticky, so we're good. I'm gonna go throw this away, we'll move on. We need to go at a good pace here. And um, yeah, we'll kinda go from there. I'm gonna go take care of my trash. Thanks everyone. Yeah, so in our older videos, it was before the scale was kind of um, fixed to what it is now. And anything I just liked, I'd give like four nines, um, which is kind of crazy to think about now, but it happened. That's fun. Okay, so I'm going to unplug the charger, plug the microphones in again, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I'll look at um, Haunted Mansion again. Maybe I'll consider it because um, Casey's is open a little bit later. Do a quick refresh here. All right. Looks like we're good. Thanks, everyone. I'll flip you guys. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, welcome to Magic Kingdom. We're kind of eating snacks here, as um, we like to say it, snacks galore. And um, yeah, hopefully everyone's doing good. We're going to kind of go around Main Street, look for Matt. Unfortunately, Haunted Mansion has gone up to 45 minutes. So I think we'll kind of just go on Main Street, see what's going on. And um, we'll just kind of go from there. Thanks, everyone. Hopefully the stream has been enjoyable. It's been a fun night tonight. And um, yeah, it's been great. I'm glad we got to get on a couple of rides here. But if you guys are watching, it'd be a huge help if you guys could please hit that like button. Every single like is a huge help. And um, yeah, it'd be great. I don't know if it's possible, but it'd be great to end with 250.
What does this place have? I wish there were more places that had the cream cheese pretzels. Uh, the only place here in the park that has them is the um, lunching pad, and they close at eight. So I'm a very um, cream cheese pre pretzel-less goo. I'm very disappointed. But um, yeah, I wish they sold them in the carts. I wish there were more of them. What is the next snack? That's a good question. You guys have any votes? Should we get the corn dog nuggets? Should we get popcorn? We can do anything. I think this will be fun. It'll kind of complement the video we have. I think it'll be out tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure. But we have a fun video where we tried a bunch of classic snacks um, and kind of reviewed them. Okay, good. I accidentally almost hit somebody on the chat. Make sure you guys keep your um, eyes peeled. Matt is working around here somewhere. And we're gonna try and find him. Great. Looks like everyone's saying the corn dog nuggets and I agree. Um, before we do that, since the restaurant's open a little later than the park, I think we'll walk down here, we'll look for Matt, we'll do a little bit of shopping. And we'll kind of do a grand conclusion, I think, with the corn dog nuggets. It's a nice night, though. I feel like, um, especially when the park closes early, you can you can stay here. Just kind of wait for the crowds to go, because if you don't, you're just going to be stuck dealing with crowds and waiting in lines to get back to the parking lot. Unless, of course, you're staying at Contemporary Grand Floridian or Polynesian, you could just walk. That's fun. I see him. Oh, great. Yeah, for sure, Bizen. Can you um, message me that so I don't forget? That'd be great. Yeah, there's a lot of fun member-only things. Yeah, those are great. I, I see Matt. I don't want to interrupt when he's talking to somebody, so I'll wait for what he's done. But yeah, if you guys are joining us, welcome to Main Street. Uh, we do have a Matt sighting. He's been found on Main Street. And um, yeah, once he's done talking with these people over here, we'll kind of go talk to him. He's trying to get away. He's going faster.
Hi. There he is. He's working. I won't keep you, but they found you. They're excited. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, I'll see you later. Yeah. Have fun. Mm hmm That was fun. That was that was fun. That's my brother. If you guys don't know, Matt's my brother. We see him on the streams. He's always here. He works a lot, unfortunately. So there we go. Oh, we should have gotten the I'm Matt. That's fun, though. If anything, it's always fun to run into him. I didn't want to keep him because he looked busy, but <laughs> that was fun. They have this new spear jersey here that I know a lot of people have been talking about. It has the castle. It has a nice color scheme here. And um, the back has just like a classic Walt Disney World, which is kind of nice. Uh, but for the most part, you haven't been getting too much here new in the Vault Collection. You're getting the 15th Anniversary Collection, which has been out for a couple weeks. But, yeah, anyways, there's Mr. Toad sitting with his deed. Nice guy. In October, the fifth day of October is actually Mr. Toad Day, which we celebrate often, yearly. And, um, yeah, there he is. Nice guy, Jay Thaddeus himself. We'll get one look in here. I have speculation that tomorrow will be when the Halloween merchandise comes out. And I don't know, I, I don't like to do morning streams. Just because, first of all, it's hard to get up. But second of all, I feel like a lot of people that watch our channel watch later at night. They have uh, jobs earlier in the day. So I don't know if you guys would be interested. Please let me know. I don't know, maybe we'll do a surprise stream tomorrow. I don't know. But yeah, this is probably where it would be when it comes. So all this poo stuff will be gone. But this is fun. You're getting a lot of... This is... This is weird. This is kind of weird to me that they were getting, like, food and wine. These are from the food and wine festival, but we're getting it here in Magic Kingdom. They're kind of doing the same thing they did last festival with the flower and garden, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we get these in Disneyland, too. That's what they did with the Orange Bird merchandise. Oh, during February, it's nice. You can get some cooler temperatures. February is a nice time to come. It depends. It could be really hot, so I, I don't want to confirm anything. But usually during the winter, you just have really comfortable temperatures. So here's the thing. Okay, I'll, I'll consider doing it. I, I just don't want to go and just have like five people here. I, I feel like it's a lot more fun when, at that point, I could just go at night and show the Halloween merchandise. So I don't know. It, it's just more fun and it's more, um, more, more fun for you guys too, if there's more, everyone here, so. Well, early meaning like 9 a.m., 8, 8 a.m. maybe, at earliest. I don't like getting up early. Yeah, I feel like so many of the Goo Crew, at least, um, are kind of busy in the mornings. And mornings are kind of hard to do, so. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry. It gets tight down there. Oh, it could be a member stream, that's true. That's true, we might get some new goof for members, that's true. I'll consider it, I'll see.
That's true. We'll see. I'll think about it. Just, just know there's a possibility. I'm not going to promise anything, nor am I going to deny anything. So, I'm going to do a quick mobile order. It's time indeed. Yeah, it might be a fun experiment. I'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow, and I'll see if, if things actually happen. Snacks galore continue. I don't think... So I've, I've tried the, the plastic cheese, as people call it. And it's, it's not horrible in, like, fries or something. I haven't tried it with corn dog nuggets, so this will be kind of an experiment here. Um, people, some people apparently love it, so we'll try it out. Patriotism USA, welcome. Hopefully you're doing good tonight. Yeah, that was great. I'm glad we were able to um, get the membership there. Congratulations. Hope you're doing good tonight. If you guys are joining, we're currently trying to get some corn dog nuggets, and from there we'll just kind of go on. And um, yeah, this is our grand finale, so this should be good. We'll kind of go over here. We'll wait for our board to be ready, and then we'll try it, and we'll kind of go from there. But I'm very hopeful that tomorrow will be the day for Halloween merchandise. I have I'm a very speculating goo. I like to speculate these things, and um, the past three days have been wrong, but. I'm hopeful for tomorrow. Yeah, the memberships are a lot of fun. We have some exclusive emojis, some exclusive videos, and we might be doing some exclusive streams too. So make sure you um, check out the membership tab for more information, but that's great. Yeah, so that the weird emoji, it turned out to be, it was from um, Star Tours. It's the robot that used to be on Star Tours. Um, it's just a temporary placeholder. I, I could make another emoji and I haven't made one yet, so I just put that one in just for now. Yeah, I heard the Halloween merchandise is out in Disneyland, which is kind of crazy. Um, and it's weird because Disneyland get, didn't get theirs last year until like really late. Oh, it's ready. Okay. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, I need to make... I, I'm, I can make a bunch more emojis now. So, yeah, it's been great to have some new members here. Thank you. Oh, great. Thank you. Hi. Um, one five seven two. Yep. Great. Thank you.
Should I add the shopping bags onto it? I can. Thank you so much. Glad you could join us here tonight. But thank you so much. Hopefully you're having a great um, night tonight, Eric. Thank you so much. Casey's hot dogs, they're bigger hot dogs, so if you know what you're getting into, you, you might like it. So Casey's are kind of it's just a hot dog. It's nothing too fancy, but I know a lot of people like them. We're having a little technical issue really quick. I'll be right back and uh, we'll go from there. We're good. Thanks everyone. But yeah, we have, so these were, um, you could add the Walt's chili fries onto your um, fries. So I got these as well. Here's the corn dog nuggets. There's the plastic cheese. We'll have to try this out. It looks pretty good. I'm hungry. see how it is. I'm going to sanitize my hands really quick and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, the Halloween parties, it, it's hard um, depending on each one. I think it just depends what you want to do, which one sounds more fun to you. I think um, it's fun with the trick-or-treating portion of the Halloween parties and the costumes are a lot of fun. But um, the Christmas one is just kind of a classic Christmas event, so that's fine. All right, I'm gonna try a nugget with the cheese on it this time. There it is, we'll try it out. wondered why people use the cheese with the nuggets and um, I think I totally understand now. The nuggets are kind of sweet. The cheese counters it nicely. It's a nice idea. Um, yeah, it's decent. I don't think it's anything like groundbreaking. Like these are, these are indeed just corn dog nuggets. Um, they're nothing really, really special here, but yeah, they're great. They're nice. It's, it's hard to rate. Um, with the cheese, I'll give it a 
3.4, I think. Um, it's just a simple corn dog nugget, and I feel like when it comes to corn dog nuggets, there's just it's just nuggets. You can you can even get like corn dog nuggets sometimes in the frozen section at a store, and they're just, they're just simple. They're simple nuggets here, so um, nothing outstanding, but it's nice with the cheese, and I'm enjoying it. So there you go. upgrade to 3.5. They're nice. They do get a little salty though, so just keep that in mind. Um, but I feel like if you're wanting corn dog nuggets, you'll want a corn dog nuggets and you'll get them here. So there you go. That being said though, I think it's been a pretty fun night. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the stream. I think unfortunately I think we are gonna kinda end it here. Um, that being said though we'll try and get some streams in um, maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday. Um, maybe Friday, but definitely Sunday. So, yeah, it's been great. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed everything tonight. It's been fun. Um, yeah, it's been great. Um, I also want to let you guys know we're going to try and get some more videos out um, in between our next stream, so make sure you guys check out those. If you guys did not check out the other videos we posted recently, they were a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed them. And, um, yeah, if you guys also, when you're watching the videos, make sure you hit the like button on those as well. Uh, likes on the videos are just as essential as on the streams. So if you guys could do that, that'd be really appreciated. And um, yeah, I think it's been pretty great tonight. But yeah, I think we will end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. One final reminder, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. I think um, it's been a pretty fun night. I'm glad you guys, oh, I'm going too fast. Glad we can bring you guys along. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I think we will end it there. But as usual, I'm Goo, they're you. And I wish you could be chairing one of you. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you guys later. And um, yeah, thanks everyone.